Welcome to Deep Thought. Change is in the air. I'm gonna tell you what, um, one of the things I want people to get from this channel and get from listening to me is really starting to pay attention. You know, like I always give the example of paying attention to commercials on any TV show that'll tell you something. Now this week I talked about the propaganda out here and also like friendship circles or subcultures. You got a ton of them, you got thousands, millions maybe of subcultures because it could be something tiny. But the thing is you want to pay attention because this change in the air. You know, it, it's a shame you have some people who feel like they want things to stay the same and everything. That's not happening. Change is constant. That's the one thing that's going to happen in life. Change is constant. You're going to get change. You know, Octavia Butler would say uh, in her Earthseed book, she said change is God. You know, but it, it's, it's going to change. The seasons change. You know, people change. People try to stay the same, but people should be evolving. And there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff I still don't talk about. I talk about a lot of things, but I pay attention to a lot of things. There's a lot of stuff I, I don't talk about, at least publicly, at least publicly. And I'll probably stay that way because, you know, I don't want to draw attention. But privately, if you like a part of one of my private groups or something, uh, we'll talk. And don't hit me up like, oh, I want to be a part. I don't know you. <laughs> it's, uh, let's just say circles within circles. Y'all yeah, can be in a circle, y'all yeah, in now, and y'all yeah, good, okay? Y'all yeah, yeah, good. So anyway, right? Just think about it. Change is in the air. It's changing, and it's constant. And things are changing on so many levels, a political level, definitely. And I don't want to get into politics. People get really huffy over politics, but there's change there. There are change, there's some big changes there. But also religion, uh, how people interact in relationships. You know, let me talk about relationships. I am known for talking about that, but you know, there was once a time where, you know, women would have, they would, they would have to find the guy or deal with the guy who was most, most likely to take care of them. Well, then we got feminism and this ain't going against them. Let me be clear, I'm not going against it or anything. I'll say, oh, it's terrible. It was part of change. Shoot, women, you know, women want their own power. They want to do stuff. I remember last night at, you know, last night from, you know, when I recorded, from recording right now, I had a soccer, woman's soccer game on in the background. It was a European woman's soccer game, professional soccer game. But I remember the time that didn't exist. That didn't exist. That's 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 gonna change stuff. People don't realize that's that's a major change. You got more women playing professional sports. They ain't making what the men are making yet. But it's still growing. You know, indeed, talking about women's sports, it was a big deal. Uh what the WNBA draft. Nobody paid attention to that for a long time, but because of uh, uh, players, and I'll call her name, like Caitlin Clark, um, you know, people, people are changing their view of it. That's a change. People don't, but see, people haven't seen to understand that change will also affect stuff out, way outside of sports, you know? Because that's affecting relationships because women ain't settling like they used to. That's a major change. So it's like I know some guys are saying, well, we wanted to go back to what it was. It probably won't. It probably won't. You know, not without force. But then if you try force, then that's another change. Because you get a resistance to that. So it's like it's so much. It's so much. I mean, the relationships, this is one small part. But you see a lot of change. Um, you know, let me talk about neurodiversity. Let me talk about that for a second. There's a lot of change with that because a lot of uh, neurodivergent people, they don't see it as a pathology. Like in the last episode, I talked about the deaf, deaf community. 
They don't see it as a pathology, but neither do a lot of autistic people. And in fact, you got some who are starting businesses and stuff like that. Starting businesses, getting married, all of that. So it's like, that's another change too. It's a, it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot, it's just so much stuff in the air. And it's gonna be in the air, it's gonna be a change. The key for anyone is simply being able to adapt. Yeah, you know, you might be one of those people say, no, we gotta get it back to what it was. It ain't going back, it ain't, it ain't going back because there's so many factors on why this change, you know? You know, demographics, demographics, fertility, that, that's part of change too. You got so many people, you know, you, you know, there's a fertility issue in the Western culture. Only one place in the world that's not having a fertility issue right now is Africa. You know, maybe a place like Pakistan, Afghanistan, but if you look in Western culture or the Western nations or even uh, many Asian nations like uh, South Korea, Japan, there's a demographic thing. It's changing stuff. Like Japan, I just read some Japan, you know, was typically not open to immigrants. Oh, they might have to change that now. That's change. Like I said, it, it's a political thing. It's a spiritual thing, like a spiritual thing. People ain't following the old spiritual systems like they once did, or religious systems. You got a lot of people leaving them, creating something new, or you know, looking for something else. But that's changed because when you have people changing their circumstances and you know being free to be who they are, it makes a big difference. It makes a big difference. You know, like I'll use, I'll use um, the thing with autism, autistic folks or uh, deaf folks, because I, I, you know, I mentioned before several times I worked for the disability rights section of the Department of Justice, Civil Rights Division of the Department of Justice. And if you have some people no longer seeing whatever they have as a pathology, oh, well, that's a change right there because then that starts knocking out some people. That starts knocking out people who would, you know, would try would, to deal with those things. So that, that changes, that's a medical thing, you know, or even when people discover cures for something, that's a change right there, you know? You could say uh, COVID, you can say COVID change change a lot because stuff happens, people change, you get subcultures, you get groups, stuff like that. But it's in the air. And what can you do about it? Ride it. Yeah, that's all you can do. You can't get mad, don't get mad, change is inevitable. Can you deal with the change? Can you deal with it, you know? Technology, technology is changing stuff. I mean, it's so many factors. Because I was thinking about something. I was like, would I be making the money or living my lifestyle I do now? Like, my primary thing is social media. That's my primary thing. And I make a lot of money on it. I don't have to work for anybody. But if somebody, if someone didn't come up with a smartphone, which caused a monumental change, would I be making money like this now? Hmm. That caused a monumental change because like even when I started out doing videos, I had something on my wall. It was like upload, upload, upload. And it was a very simple concept because I would see everybody with their phones and their heads in the phone. So I was like, oh, people need content. People need content. So oh, that's all I'm providing is content. But that's a big change. That's a big change. You know, my son, he has a page and he ain't thinking about money or anything with it. And I ain't gonna tell you what it is. But I was looking at it, I was like, oh, how many subs you got? He was like, oh, you know, 600. Yeah, I was like, hmm. And in fact, he might be able to monetize now. I'm gonna see that, I'll just keep up with him. When he get to that point, that threshold, I'll say, hey, maybe you need to take this a little bit more seriously. He ain't now and I ain't gonna push him. But this is just something fun he does, but he might, he don't know. Shoot, you don't know.
But would he have been able to do that or even have the possibility of that 20 years ago? Hmm, that's something to think about. But it's in the air, it's inevitable. The thing is, are you going to fight that change or are you just gonna ride the change? I would just say ride the change, it's inevitable. Things gonna change, you can't go back to some bygone era because there's too many factors, Techn technological, what we know, our knowledge, how people behaving, it's in the air. And there's even more coming stuff I can't even see yet. You know, so something to think about. All right. So anyway, that's all I have for today. Really think on this. Really think about the change in the air. All right. And I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.